welcome to Life While Married. Woo! I am one of your hosts, and my name is Peggy, and I will let the other hosts introduce themselves. Hey, I'm Andrea. I am the sister-in-law and the daughter-in-law. I'm Judea. Same. Same. Yeah. Same. <laughs> so this is our first time doing this. So our topic for today was supposed to be living in Connecticut. Wait a minute. Uh-uh. Let's get, like, how, how was your week, guys? <laughs> Please. How was your week? How was your week? My week went good. Went really good. I can't. I seen the pictures. What pictures? The um, roller out skating. hiking or whatever you're doing out there. It was today, and we yeah. thought, you know how we usually go up there. We're like, okay, we're gonna get to the top. We're good. Then dang old Malia, my two year old, had other plans. She had of other. Course. So she wanted to get down off of Daddy's back and walk, but then she wanted to take one shoe off, but then wanted both shoe off, but then. Shoes off, and then but then wanted to get on his neck, but then get back on. So we, needless to say, we didn't meet it, make it to the top. Okay, we made well, it. I tell you, that's just like what we talk. That's just like our introduction. <laughs> Life while married. I mean, it comes <laughs> with everything. Okay. Uh oh, if it ain't Jesus, phone is hanging up. up. <laughs> On silent. I was like, no one calls this whole time. And as soon as we start recording, the phone starts blowing up. But that's okay. We're going to roll with okay, it. Okay, Juice Bug, what's, what's on your busy schedule? Busy. <laughs> trying to sell a house, <laughs> trying to buy a house. Got these children trying to um, maneuver work and virtual school and regular life. Just got back from Connecticut. So, you know, trying to slowly but surely get my life back on some sort of track if that makes sense. sort of norm yeah some sort of way because it's totally different you know my life isn't as normal as it used to be yeah but thank god i was here i know that's right <laughs> <laughs> yeah and um andrea you just i tell you i i, I would like to tell you guys a little bit about my daughter-in-law's Mm. which who I love so much. This one here is just Andrea. She Andrea, is raise your hand. Raise your hand, Andrea. <laughs> okay. she, she is such a... She can cook anything at all. I mean, she's a very... Well, what is that? What's that lady name? Mrs. B Martha in the kitchen? Stewart. Yeah, something oh. like that. <laughs> yes. She's very domesticated. And, yeah, um, I saw this one. They were like, "Are you um, thinking that you're a dog?" I was like, "No, I'm not a dog, but I am very domesticated." <laughs> oh yes, and she's so caring about. I mean, she's such. I can tell you exactly how she is when it comes. Just last month, just to say, last month it was National Gorgeous Grandma Day. <laughs> that was so awesome. Yeah, you know, to open the door, haven't seen my. My daughter-in-law and my grandkids since this COVID, you know, and we see each other on FaceTime, but I haven't seen them. And for her to show up on my doorstep, it was so awesome. Yeah. I cried. Did you cry? I didn't even, let me tell you something. That's not the half of it. I had me a crab dinner. No, you didn't. It was I like, mean, don't play. It was awesome. Oh, you love that lobster. But that's yeah, for, lobster. yeah, lobster. I didn't pour it up. Pour I put it up. down, and then that was it. I died. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I just want people to know how how thoughtful she is, oh, and how you. grateful I am to have her in my life. Not only because of what she does, but you know, not only because of what she does, but I have five, four granddaughters belongs to her, and I love them all. So that's her. Now here goes Juice Bug. I <laughs> I like to <laughs> tell you a little bit about Juice Bug. I feel that she's God sent to me because of the way our reaction was when we first met. And that wasn't nothing but the Holy Ghost. But other than that, she's so talented. She works hard. And I I 
compliment both of these women as being my daughter-in-laws because I don't have girls. If you don't know, I got seven boys. But these are my daughters, these two. And before you get in with us, some of them other boys, you got to come through us. <laughs> but um, Judea is, she's such a blessing. She's just my daughter all the way around. She, we've been through thick and thin together. And, you know, she got my grandsons, you know, and she just loved me as her mom. And I can call on her for anything. I mean, she is my book, Rolodex. That's what she is. I could call her on anything and she can pray. These women, this, these women pray, but Judea is a prayer warrior. I can call her and we can pray together. And that's what I pray for my sons to be, a, to find somebody that can pray with them, not against them, but pray with them. So by me being their mother-in-law and I can say, I love them. That's a plus. Now I want to hear what Andrea and, and you guys have to tell the audience. About who? About you? Oh, don't. don't. <laughs> what are you talking about here? What do we need to tell the audience about? Uh, uh, about you? you know, That's what I'm saying. About you? Uh, about what? our mother-in-law? <laughs> go ahead. We're going <laughs> to go in. Go ahead. She's like, I ain't going to stop you. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, go, Andrew. You go first because your I name like starts. You always, with always be like, go, Andrea. I, like, I like how you always be like, go, Andrea. Go, Andrea. Let me see what she say. Alphabetical <laughs> order. <laughs> Andrea, of course. All right. So let me tell you about my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law is caring, giving, amazing, and we have started. Even though we've known each other for forever. We have started a great relationship. We didn't have a good one. We have an amazing one. Striving, thriving relationship now. And you're the best. Couldn't ask for a different one. I could ask for a different one. But you could. Be the same. You could. I'm going to keep you for a little bit. Oh, please do. I'm going to keep you. I'm a, you know. Yeah, you know. What, yeah. Yes. <laughs> but you're good. We're good. We're good. Everything. Amen. Yeah. You know, I got to say, man, I ain't mean to, but I have to. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like second nature. It's like period. I know. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. I love you. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, ta I'll take it, though. I'll take it. Yes, I'll take it. I love you too, babe. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. Um, aside from being kind and nice and all that. Um, you're just like, I couldn't ask for a second mom, a better second mom. Like the same way I can call my mothers, the same way I call you with no strings attached. It's been that way since I got with your son. So um, you are honest. If I ever needed to hear the truth, you're gonna give it to me. And you're going to pray me through whatever, which is, I couldn't, I mean, that's, that's priceless. Like, you're going to pray me through anything. Even if I don't even tell you, you're going to be like, Juice Bug, what's wrong? Tell me right now. Like, you know me so well. So that's, that's um, I don't know, again, that's priceless. You're an amazing grandma. Ganna. You're an amazing Ganna. So my kids, that's like, that's not my name. They're like, right. They will check me. That's Ganna. <laughs> uh, they're like, who are you talking about? I, I have a grandma on that. I have a Ganna. A Ganna. Um, I'm, I know not everyone has the privilege of being like this with their mother-in-law, but I literally, we talk every day. Like, you know me like the back of your hand. And you're just, you're just an awesome person. So I thank you for being you. Oh, dude. <laughs> Round of applause. Ah, for both of my daughter-in-law. Okay, guys, you know that everyone that we're look everyone that's looking on this don't have the relationship that we have. Right. You know, we know that. It's is it's it's rare. So before we get off this air, we would like to uh 
have let you know, you know, let people know that it wasn't that easy for us. It wasn't always where it is right now. Uh, you know, I can't, you know, I'm going to send it to Andrea. Go ahead. Oh, Andrea. Yeah. Okay. Oh, order. Yeah, order. It's order. <laughs> um, no, it hasn't. But I am appreciative for that though. I think we all needed growth. Everyone needs growth. And that and, and I think time grows you. Yes. Hopefully. Yes. It's gonna grow yes. you in two different dire- one direction. You gotta pick or the other. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So I think time and maturity and wisdom has grown us and i'm appreciative and one thing that i can say that is beneficial to start soon like if you get just get married or you're thinking about getting married is communication i can't stress that enough because without communication you have a whole a lot of assumptions and you have a whole lot of he say she say and there's a whole lot of um you know just fear with that of not wanting to talk to that person or get the right answer or just wanting to hold that grudge. So I think, you know, it's a, it's a lot of keys to a good relationship. Your relate, our, our relationship could go the same way as my husband's relationship. It's honesty, it's communication. Every relationship you have, you have to have those same keys. I think of it as like a, a janitor's key, you know, it has like a million keys on it. Yes, so yes. like that, it's like you have the key of wisdom. You have the key of maturity. You have the key of, um, what do you call it? Like just communication. You have the key of love. You have the key of kindness. You have the key yes. of all those things. So um, it's just good to, and just be of self-awareness. You know what I mean? I think a lot of times before I just wasn't self-aware of, I used to, I used to say that I was sensitive and I don't think I was sensitive. Oh, I'm sorry. I do think I was sensitive. I don't care, but I think I was less self-aware of myself. You know what I mean? And without self-awareness, you can't correct anything. So, um, I think it's just, you know, just the janitor's key. I like to call it. So, well, I, 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 I want to ask a question. Do you think that the person that's getting involved with a mother's child, whether female or male, should they get, in, should they get to know the family first? Question. That's all I'm asking. Before what? Before, like, committing? Before to- really committing to a relationship with your, the other, the significant other. Do you think that we, uh, do you think that they should have a, get to know the family before coming into this family? Because like it is. I think it should be a, in a, in a fantasy world that we could make reality. If someone was thinking about getting married, um, okay or on that track to getting married. You know, you can just be dating somebody and have no reason why you're dating them. They just there. You know what I mean? Because you just need uh-huh. somebody. Or you can be purposeful on what you're doing. It's called courting. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So if you're courting someone purposely to get married at the end, uh, not the end, but you know, whenever, mm-hmm. at a certain time, you guys should come together and both families should come together. Okay. You know what I, I agree. Mean? Because you're not marrying because you're married but see you're married into a family you're not just re- you're not just marrying that person you're marrying everything that it, that you know that whole pa- the good the bad and the ugly of mm-hmm. that family mm-hmm. of both families so you yeah. know your husband with your wife both of those families. that's what i'm saying as that family whether it's the husband or the wife we're saying that you're marrying into that you know, you, you're coming into the family. So what do you think, what do you think we should do if a female that's out there just starting to wanting to marry their, their person? I think one, you don't need to be talking to her first. You need to be talking to him and see where his mind is. Or I'm, I'm saying, because you have sons, I'm just saying that. So the one that you have birthed, you need to be talking to them and seeing where their mind is first. And see how how um serious are they exactly talk about that person that's right get to know kind of get to know that they're soon to be wife or, or husband before yes. you actually meet them 
you know, how, how would we do that though? How would a person do something like that though? You talk to your kid. You, I mean, I, well, I think the I think the person they're marrying has to um, find value in that because there's people who will just up and they don't really care about you meeting their family. They're gonna bring them to the table like, well, this is who who it is. Y'all better accept it, right? And then the person finds out, hey, I don't really like your family. So the the person the person who needs to bring their uh, partner into the family has to value that. They have to value family. They have to value brother and sisterhood or it ain't gonna make sense because they're not really gonna care. They're just gonna be like, y'all can like this person or not. I'm still gonna do yeah. them, you know what I'm saying? So you're saying that your child needs to value your family enough? Mm-hmm. So the relation, the, that it needs to value the person that they bring it into this family. That as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, see, say for instance, uh, okay, we got five more sons to go, okay? I mean, should that, should that person, that in-law be like, okay, uh, I don't care hoop about Jadir or Andrea, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, try to change stuff around that's already been uh, settled. It shouldn't. They, they, should, they shouldn't be allowed to. Like, this you, is what I'm saying. The whole shouldn't and should have... Obviously, no one wants that to happen. But if that occurs, you know what I mean? Okay. Everyone's coming from different backgrounds. So you can't say, you can't be like, oh, I don't, I don't, because you don't know their story. You know what I mean? This is why we need to so, get to know the yeah, person first. Because from, from experience, um, just the way my family, that's, but that's why you have to value family. Like, it's no use in having this conversation. If the person doesn't value family, they're not going to be they're not going to be interested in this, right? This this is for the person that values family. How do I get my partner involved in my family? When I bought my when I bought my uh, husband home, it was like me. You're gonna have to get my seven uncles to like you. That's my it. Parents gotta like you, and my grandparents gotta like you, and that's it. Like, if you're not willing to jump through those hoops and hurdles for me, then I mean, sorry, but if my mother don't like you, it's a wrap. If my grandmother don't like you, it's a wrap. If my uncles don't like you, it's a wrap. That's in the, but that's just oh. me valuing my family, yeah. and that's, that's what it was. Yeah. And that's, starts with here you. we are 15 years later. <laughs> I think it's... Two to 15 years. I know. You celebrated the anniversary when? We did. The 30th. Yeah. And I didn't know. I need to put that in my phone. What's today? Oh, please. Andrea, she's going to remember from now on. <laughs> okay. You know what? I really just started awakening myself to other people outside my house. As you know, when you have children, excuse me, more than two, more than three, life at home is like your first job. It's your career. Okay. So, <laughs> right. So um, I'm just starting to really branch off and really wanting to be involved with other people outside of my house because I'll do it here and there. Like you don't even you know how you have those friends that are here and there. That's me. Like oh yeah, I'll call you girl. But we're still good. But it's just later on. So right now I'm just trying to be more consistent with the relationship because you got to know what kind of you want. If you want a good one in 20 years, you're gonna have to make a good one today. Oh wow! Well. You know, yeah. You guys sound. Old. If you don't, I think, I think you guys I'm not gonna know. I can't make that commitment, but kudos to oh, you. Girl. No, yeah. <laughs> I love doing things like that. I homeschool, if y'all don't know, I homeschool my five children, well, four, the little ones too. And so I keep notes. I'm like a dang on Rolodex in here. So I'm good with yeah. that. I'm okay with that. I'm not gonna be the greatest. I can always do better. But I try to keep what you like. I try to keep that in my head. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to give you something that you don't like. Like, I know, I know you like that. Listen. Listen, Linda. Turn off your phone. <laughs> Please turn off your phone. Girl, you sounded like, I thought that was like an operator. I was like, does somebody hit a button? Do they have a button? We did. How crazy. 
But that was nobody but my honey. <laughs> he loves no, me. honey, he's supposed to be on his way to work. <laughs> Does he not know what we're doing right now? <laughs> I'm, waiting for, I'm waiting for one of y'all husbands to pop their head in the screen. Mm -mm. I got mine trained right now. He's with the children. <laughs> he's with the children. He has him. But when, seven, when, when 7.30 comes, then he might be like, you might see a head poke through that door right there. <laughs> now, Malia's down there um, causing havoc because... Uh, keeping him busy. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I let him take a nap today, and he said, well, why didn't you take a nap? I said, somebody had to watch the baby. <laughs> Otherwise, she's going to be naked in something. Oh, no. Downstairs. That's like <laughs> downstairs the today, just naked and ran to sleep. Put some clothes on. And she's like, why? Why? I'm like, you're mean, but whatever. Anyway. Well, I tell you, it, that's life while married, okay? Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> you know, we just, we got to continue with life. Okay, on our closing marks or whatever, uh, what can we tell our audience? What what will you want our uh, audience to know, you know? Keep watching. Keep oh, watching. Okay, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe down below. <laughs> no, yeah. I think this is good if you are a woman because yes. like said, you can relate even if you're not married. Yes. If you're not married, you can relate because all every relationship is the same relationship but just with different people and to what yeah. it, having that relationship. So, um, don't let us don't don't let us get started with paying bills. Oh gosh, that's a whole nother thing. Training training that's children. Teaching them how to go to potty, running, you know. We have a, we got a lot to talk about. Still trying to make sure your marriage is hot and spicy, okay? Oh, yeah. See, yes. Yeah. Yes. Trying that's to make these true. babies while not making no babies. You know what I'm saying? I know. Oh, I was so <laughs> glad when, the, when, when I did. I'm just, I was just so glad when my period stopped. It gets better. Wait. It gets better. You remember better. when you guys got remarried and you was yeah. like, I'm on my period. I know. <laughs> oh, I had an all plant. Well, that's another story. That is another story. We're like, eat chocolate, eat chocolate, stress out, do something. <laughs> but I am so glad that is over and it gets better and you can still enjoy yourself with no worries. No worries. Isn't it crazy how you're literally bleeding for 50 years and not die? 50 years? Like, <laughs> I had my period when I was 10. Well, I had mine at 12. So and and it, it went up. You, now, listen here. You were you a little, you a bit past 50, okay? So. No, no. I'm trying, listen, I'm going to cut snip this because you, you look good, okay? You look good, ma. Her age out there like that. Yeah, but listen, my I am past I am past fifty. You're fifty one. I ain't got no shame in that. I am fifty seven. I don't have no yes. shame. In that. Yes. But, hey. but I you know, I didn't have no period no fifty seven years and fifty. Oh. But well. like okay, forty five. So I'm around it. Forty five. That's, that's Yeah. That's so <laughs> don't give her them extra five years. Like for the extra period. Yeah. On an extra period. Yeah, on 40, it. yeah for, my thing of it is we have such you girls got a lot to go through. You understand? These hormones are gonna flip up and down and around and all that, you know. But you got something to look forward to. Your mother in law over here gonna help you through it. I'm gonna oh, pray you through it. You know? Because <laughs> I know you can make it. But it's a lot of challenges that women go through, not just being a woman. You know, in the man's world. Until until twenty fifty. Until twenty thirty. <laughs> I don't know. Go ahead. Uh, you have no <laughs> I idea. I feel like we on the come up. I feel like women are on the come up. You know what I mean? Yeah. So a little bit yeah, but don't let the men just you know, we still need these men. Oh, you understand? I love my man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We still need these men, these women out here. That's Listen, another story. <laughs> Stay on topic. <laughs> I'm staying on topic. So quick. <laughs> and our topic was supposed to be we from New Haven because we are. I am from 
I was raised in New Haven, Connecticut. Yeah, um, we could talk about it if you want. Real quick, like 10 minutes, you want to? We we'll save that for next. You no, know, I, I, I it's, 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 it's really, you know, I, it's just basically my family is there and I, I'm here. But um, New Haven, Connecticut taught me a lot. And that's another story. I just want people to know where you from, you, you guys are from. I'm from Meriden, Connecticut. Okay. I'm from New Haven, Connecticut, and moved to Meriden, Connecticut. Slash Meriden. <laughs> <laughs> nah. nah, that's all. Yeah, so Connecticut do have some uh, awesome women. I always run into people like on my job and be like, well, um, where you meet your husband at? Same place I was at, around the corner. Oh. <laughs> around the corner. <laughs> so uh, they like, you brought him down here with you? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes. You know, because um, we are in the country. <laughs> so they figure that you find you somebody up here in the country and they'll treat you better. But that's not true. I, I bought mine from New Haven, Connecticut. <laughs> I bought mines from New Haven, Connecticut too. I did. Like we brought them here. Uh, we brought my R's from Connecticut. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think um, what I have noticed, and it may just be me, is that more men, men are going to be men. Period. Okay. But right. I think I've seen more of them wanting to be with one, be with their person more than like up top. Up top guys seem like they just be hopping around, just hopping 12 kids, 15 kids, just everywhere, just doing Ooh. rich, dumb stuff. And again, that, that's anywhere. But I just think I see it more up there. I don't know why. I don't know if it's colder and everybody has snuggle time a lot more. It probably is the snow. <laughs> to, you know what I mean? To no, I can't people. say that because I didn't want to hop, 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 hop. It's snow there then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think is the way that society portray men that oh they God. just got they just want to be they ha if you ain't got this chick on your side or you ain't got this color caucasian on your this side then you know you ain't it i don't know you, i don't know but black black is good honey black yeah. is good i just know that talk about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right do you agree yeah Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but my man left him some chocolate. Oh, uh oh. To, I'm telling you, the darker my my kids, the happier I am. I'm like, can you? Uh, what they say, the darker the juice, the, the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Yes, the darker <laughs> the juice. The blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Yeah, no, because caramel, honey, it's, you don't get no better than oh. that. Caramel, <laughs> Right, hey. <laughs> but uh, I mean, dark chocolate is great too. Just, you know, milk chocolate is a little tastier. I'm trying to tell you, I wish, girl. Anyway, <laughs> all right, come on back, ladies. So let's get come on back. <laughs> okay, so I know Brandon knows. I love. I just feel like a chocolate. A man that is chocolate is like Adonis to me. So he'd be like, don't look at that man. I'm like, oh, shoot. It's I say, uh -oh. Ernest is all the way uh, yellow. I just feel like, don't you want to tan your feet? Well, and since we're going to fantasy, since, like we, since we fantasize it already, <laughs> since we fantasize, I might as well give me a... Um, Let the secret's out. Let's open the cage. Okay? Oh, my God. I want, a, like, a Hawaiian color. Hawaiian? <laughs> That's very... Um, okay. That's exotic. Yes, tasteful. Oh, that's exotic. You got a little exotic taste. Let me find yes, out. Yes, I'm telling you. Get those pineapples and mangoes going. I know it. But put me on the tree. <laughs> <laughs> put me on the tree. <laughs> yes, I can reach that coconut. <laughs> Where's your man? Okay, you in the way you excited. Where's your man? Oh, he's at Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, well, you know, we're good. Yes, I know. We all we all have is nothing wrong with appreciating. And not only that, nothing wrong with our eyes. 
No, they're, they're we are women, that's women. That's that's right. that's and that's nothing that's wrong with our. We can look all we want to. We can look, and appreciate, as long as we don't touch, as long as we don't fantasize. You know what I'm saying? Because when yeah. you stop fantasizing, then if we enter into another, whole another problem. Yeah. problem. Yeah. Yes. But you know what's it for me? It's not even more so the looks, right? Looks is okay. You got a guy that looks good, like oh, he's good looking. And but you can just got that and to like he's a boss. That's that's what. Ooh, don't don't walk into the room and you look like a boss and you smell no. good. Oh my uh, god, ooh, smelling good. Uh, oh my god. That's my thing, girl. Yes, I'm like I'm, I need oh a man who smell like a whole man. Okay, um, a man. You smell. That's what it should be called. A man. Like what are you wearing? A whole a man. man. Oh my god. Or oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know you he lingers. Like you can smell like there was a there was a good looking man. Or like his. Oh, skin. Yes. No, it's a man. What are you wearing? A man? Oh my god! Oh my! Yeah, that, that ooh, oh my, it smells good. Smells so, good. what's your favorite cologne for a man? Um, I don't know. That huh. mine's berry. Whatever I, my whatever my honey. Burberry. Cologne, I Burberry. Burberry. Is Burberry, is good. Burberry is good. Yes. Burberry is good. That Tom Ford by for men is good. I like the mm. I don't I don't necessarily like I don't know. It just depends. It like depends the on kind. the way their skin smells. I don't smells. like the they, loudness. It's like the masculine one, whatever that is. It's like um the Chanel ones mm. are really good. And there's another one that I really, really like. Oh, um, is it Gucci? No, I don't no, think. I think it's I'm Jay-Z. Gucci. Gucci smell funny. But yeah. it all depends on the way the natural scent of the man. If that yeah. if natural scent matches a good cologne. Oh, I know. It's stop. I know because I be smelling my man like, oh, you got five. Uh, my what? husband, let me tell you, honey, when he walk out even for work, he smell. I said, oh my god, what's I that? It. No, you know, my nose is fall. What's that? <laughs> he, he got to smell good. It's like what? Yes, have to. That I feel that, like um, uh, along, yeah, with your, I love it. along with your spirit, your smell comes first. Yeah. So it's like you, you holy, and you smell good. Wait, what? Wait a <laughs> Hold that chair, girl. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like you got to check the boxes. I, you know what? Side note to that, I really I buy the girls my daughter's perfume because it's like you're not going to go around anybody smelling like. Like sweat or no, you need to smell good. Everyone needs to know that you carry a smell, whether you yes. want to or not. Yeah, you, you want to smell like you want to smell like rotten eggs, or you want to smell like beautiful. You know That's right? beautiful. <laughs> you don't want them to smell but like Andrea. Rotten. I know you be Andrea be on them, boy. I'm like, did I'm you, you. It's checklist in the morning? Lotion, deodorant, perfume. Did you do all three? I don't care if you have no socks on, okay? Man, it's so easy with girls, though. Like, get your butt <sighs> washed. It's so easy with girls. These easy. little these little stinking boys, they stink yeah, just because. Just when you look at them, they smell. Like, they do. Like, until they get a certain age, they just gonna smell. It don't matter how many showers they take, you just smell. Yeah, Their hormones, I guess, puberty. Is just- Grown man smell. <laughs> no, you know what's crazy? Brandon... Let me let him not be here. He's <laughs> so good when he sweats. It's weird. And he'll ask me, he's like, do you think I took a shower? And I'll say, yeah. He's like, I didn't yet. Like today, we went up the whole mountain, came back, and he's cooking breakfast because I, I took a shower because I'm just smelling like. Oh, <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> went up a mountain. That's what I smell like. Yeah. So he's like, you know I ain't take no shower. And I'm like, you smell so good. I say you smell. I, but what I did say was that you stink. But I was like, in my head, I was like, you smell. Like, wow, you really do smell good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't let them know that, though. You know, no, don't let them know. I'm like, go watch the balls. Carol oh. head gets so big. Especially, don't let him shave. Don't let him get this face. Ooh, like when he oh, went man. to Connecticut. Yes. I said, who, who told you to come out? I said, I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm going to New Haven. No, you're not. <laughs> said, you're not. No, you're not. You're sitting right here. Gosh, I love a clean man. Oh my god! Yes, yes. Him, Brandon got those hairy legs, but don't let him put these like. Oh lord! He's Abercrombie and Fitch shorts on, like Bermuda shorts, and he has this like button up. Oh my gosh! I'm like, why are we talking about our husbands? People out there don't want to hear about our husbands. They sure don't. They need to because this is what when you love <laughs> your husband, this is what you do. 
you hear a lot of women be like, I don't want, I don't like my husband, blah, blah, blah. That's blah. right. That's oh, right. Man. I don't like mine. I love them, but sometimes I don't like them. I mean, yeah. who, like, like all the time. I don't like myself. No. Look, look. <laughs> so. <laughs> but you know, but, but the, the moral of it is that we, we do have life outside of marriage. With, with marriage because the simple fact life itself going to beat us up or either we're going to win or we're going to lose this game called life yes. you know and in the morning. Uh, uh, us Chisholm mm-hmm. I mean us us we we attend to win all the way oh, you yeah. know I'm talking about in marriage and life, life in general in no. general you yeah. know what I'm saying yeah. because we have to we have to be a light for other women that's out there that's struggling so hard, they probably look at us like, oh, they, you know, they, always they can say there. anything. Yeah, no, like, you know, but they, honey, you, we're gonna get in it. We, that's it. You know, so, well, um, ladies, I don't want to cut it short, but I think it's going to cut it short. Okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> So last words, last words, Andrea, let's go. Let's go. Last words. Last words. I thank you guys so much for watching our half hour episode. First episode. Yay. Because this is fun. This is just another time that we can actually see. I can see my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law at the same time. And I love it. And I thank you both so much. And let's have a fantastic week. The week starts today. Okay. And when we come back again, I want to hear some good stuff. Because now, Judea and I have to, well, I'm homeschooling regardless, but Judea is doing virtual, right? Yep. It's just a new, a new time for her. So I just want to send all the encouragement and all the love and all the patience and all the guidance and wisdom and everything, bacon and a cake for you and give it to you. Oh, side note, I just wanted to give you this food today, but like, I didn't want to drive, but anyway, we'll talk about that later. But go ahead. Good night, ladies. Good night. You want to we hope you guys enjoyed our show. Come we back. Hope now. you enjoyed our show, huh? You want to pray us out real quick? Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> oh Father. Uh, uh, Lord, um, thank you, Jesus, for this wonderful time that we get to spend with one another and everyone that's out there, Father. Lord, did we thank you for we are the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, no situation. We thank you for every gift, every perfect gift, Father. We ask you to forgive us for our sins, the ones we know and ones we don't know. Lord, we ask your angels to camp around my family and the people that's watching, the angels just camped around them, Lord. Let us be a light for them as you be a light for us, Father. And we thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. He's so